My name is McKenna Gear. I am a 2016 and 2020 Paralympic shooter. I won bronze in Rio. I'm located out in Colorado Springs, Colorado uh, to train at the Olympic and Paralympic Training Center full time. So when I was five years old, my parents started taking me to a summer camp for kids with disabilities. It was a three-day day camp called Camp Access that was run by disabled veterans. One of the morning activities that the older kids got to partake in was shooting. So when you turned 12, you could go shooting with the big kids. My best friend and I turned 12 the same year. We got to go shooting together on this outdoor range nearby and just had a blast. What I didn't know at the time was that the Paralympic coach was looking for up and coming new Paralympic shooting athletes. So a year and a half after I shot at camp for the first time, I was invited out to Colorado Springs uh, to attend a Paralympic camp at the Olympic and Paralympic Training Center. So it was kind of a happy accident that I found shooting in the first place, but since it's really, it's really written the course of my life. The part that I love about it so much is how personal it is. Um, if you're looking to the shooter to your left or right and focused on what they're doing and trying to beat them, you've already lost. I love that it forces you to focus on yourself, to be a better version of yourself every day. The competitions themselves have taken me you know, to the world stage. It's taken me on you know, a number of international World Cup and World Championships and then I've been to the Paralympic Games twice now, which is such an honor. So I need the orthotics because I was born with a disability called arthrogryposis, which affected my muscle development and uh, caused contracture of joints at birth. I have all of my major muscle groups, but not all the muscle that's supposed to be in them was there, which really affects my balance and stability when walking around. And then the contracture of joints uh, caused me to need to have surgeries on my ankles throughout my life. So my last one when, was when I was a junior in high school. So these braces provide stability to my disability and make it easier for me to walk around and do the activities that I want to. Some previous pairs that I've worn, uh, if I was too active, um, I would get uh, a lot of ankle pain that would actually uh, severely limit what I was able to do. Either wasn't able to walk as far or if I did push myself throughout the day, um, I was in so much pain at night that I couldn't fall asleep. So I had uh, talked to our sports medicine team and then talked to a couple athletes on complex at the training center who actually worked with Hanger Clinic as well. And Hanger came so highly recommended and I have absolutely found more independence with these braces. With uh, older pairs, I didn't feel comfortable even just walking around in the grocery store on my own. And as a wheelchair user in the grocery store, it's not the easiest task. So being able to you know, walk around a grocery store, walk through Costco, not need to have someone go with me has been fantastic. The biggest life lesson that I've learned from both of my games experiences is to just not give up on the dreams that you have. The road to either games, it was not easy. Uh, it was not a walk in the park. There was a lot of work, there was a lot of tears. I think that my experience was worth it, not because of the experiences that I have had, but because of the impact that I hope to have on another you know, five-year-old kid one day. My life was completely changed because of a disabled veteran that started the summer camp. And really my hope out of my experiences, while they have been so worthwhile for myself, I really just hope that I can share that and also change the life uh, of another kid, especially one who has a disability. Mm -hmm.